thinking of upgrading to a private condo from HDB but don't know where to start? Hi, I'm Alfred. I am here to open up a world of possibility to you. I'll be sharing with you a few scenarios and their pros and cons. These are all the possible options for you to take should you choose the step of upgrading. Here we go. Option 1. Buy, then sell. Let's take a look at Jimmy and Audrey, husband and wife, and both are Singaporeans. By paying 12% additional buyer's stamp duty up front, they can first buy a resale private condo and apply for a refund of this ABSD via the remission scheme as long as they sell their HDB flat within 6 months. Should they purchase a new launch where the development is still under construction, they will be able to apply for the same refund as long as they sell their HDB flat within 6 months from the TOP date of their new home. The advantage of taking this option is that Jimmy and Audrey will have sufficient time to renovate their new home without time pressure. Buying a new condo before selling your flat will also eliminate the possibility of them having to move twice. However, the disadvantage will be the upfront cash or CPF required to pay for the ABSD. Assuming their new property is $1.5 million, the ABSD will come up to $180,000, which is a pretty hefty sum of money. So, what should Jimmy and Audrey be mindful of should they choose to buy their condo before selling their flat? It is important to note that their condo will have to be in joint names for them to qualify for the ABSD refund. As such remission are only applicable to married couples buying the private property as their matrimonial home. Now, option 2. Sell, then buy. Jackson and Amanda, a Singaporean couple, decides to sell their HDB flat and either they move in to stay with their parents or rent a property in the meantime while searching for and eventually buy their new private condominium. There are a few advantages of selling their HDB flat before purchasing a new condominium. Namely, number one, they will have the sale proceeds back from the sale of their HDB and will be able to utilize it for their next property. This will eliminate the possibility of coughing out more cash compared to option one. Number two, they can choose to buy the new private condo by only using a single name, freeing the other spouse's name for a possible second property, thus avoiding ABSD for their second property. Husband and wife can now have two private property purchases in each of their own names without incurring any ABSD. The disadvantages will be, firstly, having to move twice, first to their parents' or rental flat, and then eventually to their new home. Secondly, if they are renting, they will also have to pay rent while they are searching for their new home, which can easily cost up to $30,000 a year, assuming that rent is $2,500 a month. Option 3. Sell, then buy back to back. Jonathan and Ariel sold their HDB flat and bought another resale private condominium immediately after their HDB flat has been exercised. The HDB sales process typically takes approximately 3 months and the sales process of a private condominium can be anything from 8 weeks to 12 weeks. Jonathan and Ariel will likely need to negotiate for an extension of stay up to 3 months with their HDB buyers. In order to allow themselves enough time to transition to the condo, giving them a small window of time to renovate the condo has required. The advantages of this option 1. The couple do not have to pay ABSD for the purchase of the new private property. 2. Similar to option 2, they too will be able to choose to buy the new private condo by only using a single name, freeing the other spouse name for a possible second property, avoiding ABSD. 3. Of course, they will save themselves the trouble of moving twice. However, in order to execute this, the couple will only be able to purchase completed properties. And the unit that they purchase has to be delivered with vacant possession upon completion. Even though this sounds like the most ideal scenario of the three so far, in reality, there is a tight time crunch in selling and buying back to back, making the entire process possibly stressful for the couple. Now, if all the above scenarios are not appealing to you, what else can you do? For more options on how you can upgrade from HDB flat to a condo, meet up with me for a check. Let's see how we can work around your circumstances over coffee and achieve your dream of upgrading. I'm Alfred Ng from ERA. I look forward to hearing from you soon.